I don't want to be all up in your business, but have you considered the Alamo recently? This is Lego Super Mario, um, Mario's house and Yoshi, 205 pieces, but don't worry because um, Mario is not included. So you just got this ghost of Mario here fighting Goombas and riding Yoshi and whoa, Yoshi! It's Mario's house, it's fine. It's an expansion set, but it is an official Nintendo product. Very cool. On the back, we do see more information. It says that it does require the um, starter course to do all these cool things, like have a not dead ghost Mario. Uh, there's a code there you could scan, but whatever. Other languages. Um, yeah, this is the one you want. Components made in Denmark, Mexico, Hungary, China, and the Czech Republic. Set number 71367. And there's an actual size Goomba. Wow. And it shows you who it includes. That's that's fun. I, it's, let's let's look and see if it's really worth all this. Bing, bing, woohoo. I cannot begin to tell you how bad I am at explaining this set. Uh, there's an original version of this video available to members. It's uh, incomplete, but... <laughs> it's not great. So this is Mario's house and Yoshi. And I know what you're thinking. Why'd you get it? Fair question. And I guess... I don't know. Much like the Alamo, you know the main characters' names, you know some of the side characters, you don't really know much about them. What's Yoshi doing here? Why does he not have an egg? It's Goomba, and of course, there's no idea what's inside Mario's house, but that's that's fine. That's part of the appeal of this set, isn't it? Is that it can kind of be whatever you want it to be. It's it's an open for interpretation kind of kind of thing here. So we do get um, three roads. I don't know if these have a scientific name in the Super Mario Lego community, but they're three pieces that can be used to attach these in various different ways. Uh, you've got uh, kind of your base, I would say, your your main part of the thing, your auxiliary land piece, and then you've got two characters. Um, of course, you've got Goomba, and this is just a bad character pack. It's Goomba. I believe that scan is the same as the, the uh, blind bag figure Goomba, and the face is in an awkward, I believe, unique print. He just kind of looks like he's telling you, a, like, a he's complaining about something going on in his life, and he's just, like, you're not, you're not disinterested, you know Goomba, he's, he's around, you know, but you're just, like, Goomba, you're not really, like, I don't have time for this right now to, to talk about it, but here we are, so, nothing fancy on his base, you've got the scan, like I said, and it's a pretty basic build, it's, it's nice to get him, though, I guess, really, it's a 205 piece set, and... A, a real number of pieces were put towards this. Roads are, are anywhere from underwhelming to, huh, that's pretty good. That's a, uh, a printed uh, arrow, and it's on a double snot brick. Kind of cool. You can aim it just a just a little bit back and forth if you if you cared to. And you got the fence and the flower piece, and it's it's nice. I, I like that. I don't know what I would use with that wood grain arrow, but it, but it's, it exists now. And you've got this mailbox using the um, angular brick or the um, Erling brick. So that's that's fun. I like it. I like it a lot. That, that one might be my favorite if we hadn't have had the very good arrow. Um, the, the, the hammock is it's just the teeniest amount of movement. There's like tiles under there so that you can't accidentally stud on anything through the fabric piece. I don't know. The tree is like a facade of a tree, which I think that's the biggest problem of this set. It's the facade of nature of the uh, house and the tree and everything's just... And I get that that's part of like the Mario aesthetic, the 2D games especially. Everything's cut off and, and only what you see is what you interact with and that's what matters. So I guess like uh, it's a decently cute design for the tree. The actual tree part is is fun, round, and it's got a little thing. And even this isn't terrible. If this had been a 2x2 two two printed like log slice piece, that would have been cool. That would have been really great. But instead we don't, and I don't know if you can use that. As I'm sure someone could figure out a way to use that as a sail for some kind of ship or something. So maybe maybe that's what I'll do with it eventually. But it's, it's a weird one. Um, you do get a second larger 
what is that? Um, I'm going with uh, six. I'm going with six by six round square Mario thing. So you get a second one of those, you could definitely like put it on a smaller one and then have that bigger one for something else. Um, and then we've got the, the house. Let's, let's real quick, let's talk about the house here. So easy enough to just connect stuff, just boom, bash it on. I think, hmm, I think that's not the official, official way to do it, is it? Now let's, let's look at the box. Oh, yeah. So the official one according to the box is, well, we haven't even talked about Yoshi. Get, get in here, Yoshi. The official one on the box shows a much shorter one than we have. So is that... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're, they're telling me to do. I, I don't have the instructions because they're only digital, so... I definitely don't have a one that short unless we're going all the way under. So let's, let's do... Let's do this. I guess the I guess the allure of this is you can reconfigure it however you like, and that's that's just swelling it. So the mailbox should go next to the house. Do that. And then let's put the house, let's put Goomba over here. So that's a that's a fairly large surface that you're taking up. You got Yoshi up here, you got Goomba way over there, and you got a lot of room in between to hang around. But like I don't know. It's fun. It, I don't. I don't have the game. I don't have a Mario to play it with, so I don't have anything to really like compare it all to, right? I guess that's the the takeaway. Mario's house on the inside is completely empty. There's no glass in the door, and there's no glass in the windows. So it's whatever. Um, but wait, it's not actually empty. There's a star block in there, and the star block comes off in a Minecraft-esque way. I would feel. Um, appropriate that it can be moved around and stuff, but I guess that'll give you a star. But so I guess if you were Marioing, you'd that seems mediocre because also there's this puff of smoke coming out of the chimney that you would have to contend with with that, but whatever. Anyways, uh, if you wanted to decorate that though, you got, you got a little bit of room for a mini figure. It's kind of a weird. It's, it's Whoop! It's whoop! Not a great space for a minifigure to live, but sure, Mario can live there. Door opens, of course. You got that lock piece, that's nice. The, the Mario tile, this round 2x4 tile. That's nice. I like it. Wow. Very nice. So. You can you can put that on something else if you want. If your name is Mario, hell yeah, you just got a free bonus there, eh? But um, let's look at the Yoshi last. So Yoshi, um, no no real play features with him as far as I know. His arms can be adjusted. And if you want to go just a little wild, you can you can adjust his head and give him some iconic Yoshi poses. Woohoo! Uh, no egg, of course, with it, so you don't really get that, but. You get the little feet, you get the little arms, you get the printed eyes, you get the little printed nose. He's cute. He's good. And he goes on this little base with a little scanner. Oh, and if you scan that, it does a whole little little talkie brew. Hey, it is me, CNM doing a big tax fraud. Bambinos love tax fraud. Wow, that sure is great. Thanks for sharing, Super Lego Mario. Anyways, guys. Um... Yeah, I think that's I think that's gonna do it for it. So you know what? I just I don't thank you guys enough. Uh, the channel members, real quick: uh, Tyler S, Pelegokin, Dion B, God of Grunts, JMT Lego, Crystal J, and Private Cheeseburger. The Pro Lego channel members, thanks for being here, guys. Uh, thanks for supporting. If you want to support me and can support me, uh, there's a link somewhere. I'm gonna give you over here. Subscribe on the Mario House, and then over by Yoshi is something terrible that I handpicked for you. Yeah, that's good. That's that's better than the last video that I made about this. Whoops. Support your local Lego Chanel.